Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about and help you with the bay parking going forward on the right and reverse into a bay on the left. Now, I already have a video on this and it's one of my best video on the channel is helping many learners and like I said it's one of my best video but every now and again I do get a message saying that they want to see more of the outside how the parking is done they want to see how the car goes in more and they want to see how the car is coming out and they want to see more of the outside because on the first video I have shown more the inside the reason is because so that you could see what I am doing how I am looking at the back how I am looking at the blind spot so that he could see how I am doing so he could copy and do the same. But like I said, every now and again, I do get a message and they want to see from the outside. So I'm always trying to help my learners on my channel. So I thought I revisit and re-edit this video and show more of the outside how it's done so that he could see from a different angle how this parking is done. Please do let me know what you think of this and for the other one, I will leave a link on the description below. If you haven't seen it already, you could visit and see that video as well. So let's start the lesson. Okay, so let's explain uh, the bay parking. First one, I will explain how to go forward into a bay and then reverse out and go towards right. And the next one, I will explain how to reverse into a bay and then forward out or go out of the bay and go right. Now, this parking or any parking, always remember the word COP, C-O-P, COP. C for control of your car, O for observation, and P for position. C for control, which is make sure your speed is not too high, reasonable, and the car is under control. You are always in control of the car. O for observation, make sure you look all around constantly making sure it's all safe around you, including your blind spot. If there is somebody coming, stop and wait for them, let them go. If they wait for you, carry on doing the parking. P for position, making sure that you are go into a bay within two lines. So you go within the bay, not touching the line. If you are touching the line, you can go out and then go forward and correct it. That's part of the maneuver. So make sure you go within the line. If it's not, go out and go forward. And that's part of the test. So always remember the word COP. C for control, O for observation, and P for position. And you will have to pass on all three. So now I'm going to explain to you how to go forward into a bay. So imagine this is your car. And you want to go forward into any bay. So say this is the bay that we want to go in. This is your car. So first thing you do is get the car prepared, which is clutch down, first gear, set the gas. Look full circle all the way and look over your blind spot, over your shoulder, make sure it's safe. Put the signal on towards right, because we are going right. So put the signal on and keep going forward. And go really slowly, go forward, until you find the reference that you want to go in. So because we are going in here, our reference point is this line there. This is the line we need to find a reference on our car to make the turning. So what you're trying to do is keep going forward until your car is around here. And when you see this line around where your door handle is, from the inside or get your mirror in line middle of that bay middle of that bay when you see this side mirror around the middle of the bay or this line is where around the the door handle is from inside once you reach that reference full right lock okay so just before you do full right lock just quickly look all around if it's safe including your blind spot and make the turn once you make the turn car will start to go in once the car is going in keep looking all around constantly like I said your observation is the key so keep looking all around make sure it's safe 
and as the car goes in around this point here try to look at the side mirror and on the side mirror you should be able to see the this line here and you will know if the car is in the bay or not so as the car goes in look at the side mirror look for this line when you know it's in the bay keep going forward and once it's and once it's within the bay stop handbrake on neutral and thus in the bay so now that you're in the bay now your job is to go out of the bay and move off that's part of the parking so the part of the parking is to go in and then reverse out of the bay you need to demonstrate to the examiner so this is your car you want to go out now now you have to imagine even though there might be no car on each side but you have to imagine there are cars which means when you go out don't steer too early because if you do you probably will hit those cars so you want to keep the car straight so when you're there get the car ready which is go to reverse gear look around make sure it's safe look over your blind spot and keep going back keep going back until the front of your car is near the end of the base around here and do steering whichever way you want to go so in this case we want to go this way which is towards right and our back is going to go towards left which means we're going to do full left lock the reason for left lock is the back is going to go left and the front is going to go out because you're reversing is the opposite you need to steer whichever way you want to take the back so our back is going to go towards right, left so we're going to do full left lock once you've done full left lock the car is going to go this way the front is going to go out once the car is straight get the wood straight and go forward and that's the end of going forward and reversing out of a bay so now here you get the car prepared for you to go right forward into a bay so you put the clutch down go to first gear look around including your blind spot and you signal right for you to go so you keep going forward until you go to that reference so you keep going forward looking around and keep looking for that bay that you want to go in and once you reach the point where you are going to do full right lock so keep going forward and wait for the reference and this is where the reference is once you find the reference full right lock full right lock once you've done that keep looking around so you keep looking and you keep full right lock until the car is straight so you wait until the car is straight look at the front to see if the car is straight on the car is straight get the wheel straight and then we look at the side mirror and it looks nice and good it's in the keep going forward stop the car and brake on neutral rest your feet so that's the first part of your forward in second part is to reverse out of the bay now when you reverse out like i said on the briefing you have to imagine these cars on both sides which means you can't steer early because if you do you will hit those cars so we will keep the car straight until the end of the bay then we will steer now then it depends which way we are facing now to, for us to go in this time we are, we want to face right okay so near to the end we will be steering for left lock because we are going right we need to steer for left lock clutch down reverse gear look around blind spot and break off and look over your shoulder and like i said keep the car straight no st uh, steering now because there are cars on both sides so we reverse keeping the car in a straight line like I said, don't steer, keep it straight because you have to imagine there are cars on both sides. You keep going back and just before you reach the end, you start steering. And then before you reach the other side, you stop. When you stop, put the handbrake on, go to first gear, look all around, including both blind spot, and then you move forward. Okay, make sure both blind spot and then you move forward. And this will be the end of this maneuver. So now we will be looking at 
reversing to a bay on the left hand side. Now I will show you how to reverse into a bay on the left. So reversing into a bay on the left. So first of all you're going to get the car ready which is clutch down reverse gear. Look full circle including your blind spot make sure it's safe and then you start to go backwards. When you start to reverse you need to find a reference to go in. Same again you target a line but this time the line that you choose on the door handle on, on, on this side so you're sitting here and you're looking here um, at your door handle and when your door handle from inside is around in line with a line of a bay if you target this line this being the first this is second you will end up going to the third bay so target which bay you want to go in and from that bay go forward until a line which is the third bay from the bay that you want to go in so say you want to go into this bay here that's your target bay you want to go in your line will be this one here because one two three okay so you're going to go back until your door handle from the inside is in line with this line here this one once you reach this reference or this line do for left lock left lock because that's the way you want to go in remember always remember the back of your car whichever way you want to take the back that's the way you steer so if you want to take back of your car into this bay which is left you steer for left lock if it's the other way it'll be the full right lock but in this case we we are going to this way which is left once we reach this point full left lock once you've done full left lock car is going to start to go in when it starts to go in the front is going to go out so make sure you look over your blind spot every now and again to make sure it's safe no one's coming keep going in and look at the side mirror which is this side mirror here and you're looking for this line here to see if it's going in once the car goes in like this you will see on the mirror this line here so if you look on this side mirror you will see this line once you know the car is straight keep going in and stop and put the handbrake on now your next part is to go out remember you need to go in and then you need to go out that's part of your test so now you will get the car ready which is clutch down first gear set the gas and like I said to you before, don't steer too early as you come out because you're going to hit the cars on this side. If you're going to go out this way, you want to make sure you don't hit this car here. So you go to first gear and you go forward until your back end is just coming off the bay. That's when you do full right lock and then you'll be going this way. And that's the end of going reverse into a bay and coming off. So get the car prepared first, clutch down, reverse gear, look around, blind spot, handbrake off and you start reversing backwards looking over your shoulder which is that way there and you keep looking over your left shoulder at the back as the car reverse and you keep going back until you go to that reference. Once you find that reference you do full left lock. And this is the reference okay once you get that full left lock look all around again just to make sure it's safe and the car starts to go keep looking all around including your blind spot but look at the back over your left shoulder because that's the way the car is going okay keep looking all around especially here look at the blind spot over your right shoulder keep looking keep going until the car is straight once the car is straight get the wheel straight and keep going back until the car goes in to the bay once it's in the bay you stop fully put the handbrake on and then neutral and now we need to go out of the bay which is part of the test so what do we do clutch down first gear set the gas and in this case we're going to be going left look around blind spot signal left and then you start to go don't steer too early you have to imagine these cars on both sides so you keep the car straight until the end, then you steer left here, 
okay so you don't hit any cow on this side and uh, that's how you get out of the bay okay that's it for this video i hope it helps like i said i already have a another video on this which i will leave a link on the description below if you haven't seen it watch the other one as well you will see this parking from a different angle but i hope this one helps if you did please do give a thumbs up and please make a comment what you think of the video and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now